Welcome to a Blu-ray uh, video review. I normally don't do Blu-ray like box sets or DVD reviews that aren't really related to Transformers, but I just picked this up not too long ago and this is such an incredible box set that I felt like I needed to do some sort of recognition for this, but it is the Alien Anthology Blu-ray Collection. Now, I picked this up at Best Buy. Uh, this is regularly 50 bucks, I believe, which is still a great bargain for what's inside, but it was marked down to 24 something. So it was a no brainer. Uh, it includes Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, and Alien Resurrection. Um, Alien is one of my favorite movies of all time. I really like Aliens, and the last two are, I mean, Alien 3 is still pretty good in its own right. Alien Resurrection is pretty campy but I like it for what it is uh, open it up now I was not sure expecting quite what was inside I was expecting like you know sleeves or anything like what most box sets come with but you open it up you get a little uh, book you open it up the alien anthology you get a little description about uh, the history of the alien franchise and on this page, you get the Alien first film, which includes both the theatrical and director's cut. And I love the director's cut. It's so weird. Uh, you get a, a little bit more of history, like uh, alternative method to how the eggs are created, which is really creepy. Um, it kind of contradicts the queen from Aliens, but still pretty good. You get the... Uh, Space Jockey or Engineer as they're now referred to in Prometheus. And here's Aliens. Has a nice picture of... of uh, Looks like just a standard... Oh no, this is the Queen. Get some screenshots there at the bottom. There's the Terraform Station. This also includes the theatrical and uh, director's cut version. And there's the classic... Ripley versus the Queen Alien scene. And on here we have uh, Alien 3, Three Times the Terror, which uh, was supposed to end, you know, put an end to the Alien franchise, but uh, obviously it didn't. Or at least with uh, Ripley, Ripley's character, that is. Uh, and, and this also includes the theatrical and director's cut version. And there's a, one of the opening scenes from Alien 3. And Alien Resurrection. Uh, I mean, it's a decent... I mean, it's definitely the weakest of them all. It's written by Joss Whedon, which you can definitely tell because it has a lot of uh, fan winks in there. But still, I mean, I'm one of the few people that thinks that Joss Whedon is very, very overrated. I don't think he's really that good of a writer or director. Uh, d just because, like, he made, uh, that fucking show that was on, uh, Fox, I forget what it's called, Firefly, and that movie, Serenity, people all went all fucking nuts over him, I didn't really care, for, I mean, I didn't hate the show, but I just thought it was pretty average, um, yeah, that, there's that, and there's a, a scene from Alien Resurrection, oh, Alien Resurrection also includes theatrical and Real on uh, theatrical and uncut version of it, and getting to the making of the Alien anthology. Now this is has so many documentaries. Has the making of all four films, really cool. And this is the Alien Archive Blu-ray, which is more or less just a throw-in because it just has like pages of images and uh, scripts sections. Nothing really uh, video related, and you get. A little handbook right here. Classifier information. A letter from Ridley Scott. Get like a little guide to the special features. And this shows you what's on uh, every disc. And a little bit more about what's on each desk. Uh, each desk has a few audio commentaries. Uh, a whole bunch of really cool shit on here. 
I mean, this is like a week's worth of videos you could watch, including all the movies. So the, the, for $25, if it's still on sale at Best Buy, this is a no-brainer if you're a huge fan of the Alien franchise, such as myself. Uh, I like Predator and all, but Alien is all, always it for me. Uh, when I first saw Alien when I was really young, it scared the shit out of me. One of the creepiest movies I've ever seen. Still watching it now. It, it I mean, it doesn't like scare me, but like I can definitely respect still respect it and find the creep factor in it hardcore so I definitely recommend if you have a blu-ray player which most people do nowadays if you're a fan of the alien franchise definitely pick this up